we are going to get out on the road. Piper's ready. Guy is ready. <laughs> Just waiting on Mike. There he is. Ready? Yep, ready to go. Look at all these campers. Hey, you know, I'm really bummed that it's almost spring. Yeah, it's, I'm not used to sharing campgrounds. <laughs> so many people, oh my gosh. Of course, this is the only loop that's open. <laughs> so that's kind of everyone's only choice is to be down one spot next to each other. Oh boy. Let's check it out. Yes, there is one benefit to camping when other people are here. It already smells like campfire outside. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time this year it smelled like camping. I know, it's like, oh, I remember you old friend. <laughs> is it weird that camping has a smell? And it's happiness. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but the frogs are just going wild. definitely sounds more like spring. The Wraith is catching some air though. <laughs> Pretty unlevel front to back. Side to side it was perfect but I had to put one, two, three, four, five blocks under the front tires. <laughs> it was just myself and Guy here in the Wraith right now. Mike took Piper over to try to meet some dogs or at least one she has not been very friendly with dogs for like the past year or so so we're trying to introduce her slowly to some dogs that we know and dogs that are friendly so and we're keeping guy out of it because he loves dogs and he loves people but we just want to do one-on-one -on -one. can't have me there because I'm sitting here and I'm all, I'm nervous as it is, so I really don't want to be there and mess this up anymore. So, got to keep my nerves in check for Piper. Come on, Wade. Wade, let's not get too carried away because you play rough when you get started. <laughs> well, they have returned. Piper has no blood on her face. She didn't <laughs> try to attack anyone. I think it was a success. She did really well, all on drugs. Right. <laughs> Vet prescribed. Vet actually suggested it after her last uh, appointment. Said she is a little crazy. So give her this. It'll calm her nerves. And it's calmed her yes, like a crazy amount. So now she's like good with people and dogs so we're going to take her for a walk see how it goes on the walk with other strange dogs dogs she hasn't tried to sniff before man the frogs are crazy loud over here oh yeah Some deer across the road. Piper sees it. Oh, guy sees it. Yeah. 
quiet besides the frogs and highway noise. Yeah, I'll take the frogs. I think Guy is tired. Look at the way he's laying. Mike is eating peanuts. And he's not even getting up to like beg for one. <laughs> oh. He's just staring. Oh, there's the tail. Piper is sitting. So she got a couple, but he's just like, throw them at my face. <laughs> Going to attempt a morning walk. Wet, wet, muddy. Glad I don't have the dogs with us. Uh, they'd have some wet, muddy paws. Like this guy. I guess Guy found a new spot to sunbathe. Hi, Diesel. It's a legit celebrity sighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so fluffy. So don't look at my hair. She's having bad hair day. Hanging out, being lazy. Ran into a rolling with the Bolins. We got Jill and Tony. Yeah, we were stalking them. <laughs> You're just Don't uh, do that to us. <laughs> Don't stop it, Diesel. It's good. Dogs love Mike, especially when he smells like two other dogs. Yeah, uh, you know. It's already getting late. They kind of went by kind of quick, so I'm going to grill. Haven't done that since the summertime, so I think it'll start to smell pretty good around here. Supposed to be three legged and there's only two legs, so. Yep, yeah, put something under it. Yeah, if I find a rock. While the burgers are cooking, I think I will let you guys in, tell you what's going on with my job. I'm still with the same company, which is the name has changed, but that was a year ago. We went from First Energy to Energy Harbor, still work at Davis Bessie, but up in Michigan, uh, Newport, Michigan, just north of Monroe, there is another nuclear power plant operated by a different utility. They had some issues with staffing, so they actually called down to Davis Bessie and asked for help. So it's kind of rare for a utility to ask a different utility for assistance. So I got a call last weekend from my boss saying, hey, this came up. You can say yes, you can say no, it's up to you, it's your call. Do you want to go up there and help them out for a week or two? I was like, hmm, it'd be kind of interesting to see how a different utility operates, to see how a different plant operates with the same job that I do currently, which was specific to receipt inspection. So I went up there and I've been working long days, longer than normal, and it's been 
like a whirlwind because it, the process is completely different. So it's been a good learning experience. I've helped them out. They've, you know, shown me different ways that things can be done. <laughs> things are very much done old school, kind of like in the 90s, lots of paper, lots of handwriting, not so much digital. So that's going on with my job. I did mention something about Mike's job as well, which he's still with the train co, but he got promoted. He's the training manager and he's currently heading up uh, the expansion, I guess you can call it, to helping a local community college, which is my alma mater, Tara in Fremont. So they're start restarting their truck driving program and Mike is starting that up for them. So we're both kind of having these weird work changes, <laughs> but it's been good. We're both just very busy, but we are very happy to be out here camping. It's been great. Hey, thanks for the fire. Yeah, no problem. We put Mike on fire duty and this is what we got. Big old blazer. A bunch of people are starting to leave and pack up. I wanted to show our fire. <coughs> What's left of it. One little log and it's still smoking. It's pretty warm. So I bet you if I wanted to throw some more on there, we'd have another fire. It's time to get back on the road. We had site 69 and it was a pretty decent site. It wasn't wet or uh, really that muddy. So it's a good site. We are on our way back home. We do have a laundry list of things to get done for next weekend. 